G'day. I was about to start cooking up dinner and I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to you about preventable house fires. I would imagine that most of you have never even thought about the prospect of having a fire start right here in the kitchen. And you'd be surprised at how often and how easy these can happen. Just one minute of unattended cooking can have disastrous results. Last year in Victoria, over 1,500 preventable house fires occurred, causing more than $42 million in damage. That's a massive amount. The reason cooking fires cause so much damage is because people panic and they naturally try to use water to extinguish fires. Just one cup of water used on a small fire in a pot or a pan can instantly turn into a wall of fire, engulfing your whole kitchen. Another reason for damage are range hoods that sit above the stove. These quite often have a build up of fats and oils that can quickly ignite and carry fire up into your roof space or into your wall cavity. These fires quite often go undetected and can lead to significant damage and sometimes complete loss of your home. Check out this ultra slow motion video that shows you just what happens when you use water on a fat or oil fire. As you can see, when water is poured into the hot oil, it sinks to the bottom and it instantly boils. The steam in the liquid vapor leaves the pot or the pan in an explosive fashion and it takes small droplets of grease or oil with it. These droplets of oil or grease are ignited on the flame or the element under the pot, which causes a violent explosion, spreading fire all around the kitchen in a horrific circumstance. Let's look at a few ways that we can safely extinguish a pot on the stove. First of all, when you are cooking, keep your saucepan lid handy. We've got our simulator here, which we can use. So we'll turn that on. So if a fire does occur, simply pick up your saucepan lid and use it for protection. Drop it over the pot and always turn off the flame. So a safer option, or if you don't have a lid for your saucepan, is to always use a fire blanket. Fire blankets should be mounted securely to the back of a pantry door or close enough, but not too close to the stove. When we've collected our fire blanket, we always make sure that we keep hold of the tabs. Open it straight up and always protect your hands. So roll your hands over to protect your hands. Keeping the blanket nice and high to protect your face. Step in closely, lay it over the pot nice and gently and your fire will go out. And always make sure you're turning off the heat. Your third option is your fire extinguisher. It's important to keep your fire extinguisher close and handy, but not too close to the stove. I keep mine in the top drawer. A few things to keep in mind with your fire extinguisher. First of all, the gauge. Make sure the gauge is in the green, it means that the extinguisher is ready to go. They have a safety pin, which you will need to pull. Once you've pulled the pin, stand well back from the stove and let the extinguisher do the work. If you stand too close, the extinguisher has the ability of blowing the oil and the fat out of the pot up onto the wall causing you more problems. So keep it nice and high, aim into the pot from a distance, and you should be good. So there's just a few tips to keep you out of trouble. Speaking of trouble, I hope to get dinner on. Catch you later.